You know, one thing I never understood about the Mario Brothers is that it's two dudes from Brooklyn named Mario and Luigi. They're plumbers, and yet we never see them eating pizza. Well, today I got the Mario-inspired fit, and we're gonna be going around Brooklyn eating some of the best pizza that this borough has to offer. Make sure you finesse that like button like Mario collects coins. Maybe we'll even get a slice with extra mushrooms. Of course, you know we had to start off this Brooklyn pizza tour at Luigi's. This is a classic institution, everything you want from a neighborhood pizza joint. They are in there constantly tossing dough, making pizzas, super busy, even on a day like today where it's a little bit misty outside. And you know, we're gonna start off with the classic pepperoni, but don't worry, we'll be getting more slices. Look at that, that's beautiful. This is a very storied pizza place, so I'm just so hyped to try this slice of pepperoni. Oh, this is just so, so good. It's crispy, cheesy, the pepperoni is on point. So we got two more slices coming out. What a way to start the day. I'm gonna go for the margarita first. That is incredible. There's olive oil on there, the fresh mozzarella, wow. I'm gonna try the white pizza now. So crispy and thin. A lot more cheese on this slice. Check out the bottom of that slice too. Oh man. These are really, really incredible. Mm. It's a misty and foggy day. Oh, perfect day for pizza. I'm gonna have to buy a brick oven for the house so we can make it at home. <laughs> All right, one more bite of the white pizza. Mm. That cheese pull though. Mm. Amazing. All right, I'm getting hyped. Those three pizza slices from Luigi's are classic New York, old school, I love that. Out of the three, I enjoyed the margarita the most, and I just have to say, that is a, some good a pizza. Now let's go and get more. I totally agree with Lewis. That was some old school New York style pizza that we got at Luigi's. We are in the subway now, waiting to get to Williamsburg, which has the most pizza per capita that I've ever heard of. food tours on YouTube, you gotta know how to do your research. Cause if you just Google Williamsburg pizza, you may not find Williamsburg pizza. I'm gonna start off with this margarita slice, which was calling our names. It looks oh so good. Shreds of basil. Mm. Mm. I can't look at the lens. I just want to look at the pizza the whole time. It's so beautiful. <laughs> wow. Mm. That was a long train ride from Park Slope over to Williamsburg, and we got two amazing slices here at Williamsburg Pizza. Olive oil, fresh mozzarella, shredded basil, all the best things in the world. A bigger overall slice than Luigi's. Crust is a little bit thicker, not quite as crispy. This is their cup and char pepperoni. Ginormous slices, let's go. This is definitely a heavier slice of pepperoni than we had at Luigi's. More cheese. A little bit harder to hold together. A lot of sauce on this pizza. The cheese is so gooey. Well, so far at our two pizza stops, we've gone basic margarita pepperoni slices. So hopefully in the next few stops, we'll see some more crazy type of slices that we can really sink our teeth into. And this reminds me, we've been waiting so long to do a Brooklyn pizza tour. We also did one in Queens last year. So make sure you check that out if you haven't already. Obviously we've done Manhattan as well and we have a ton of Chicago pizza tours. There's a lot of pizza left so I'll get back to you in a second.
had to take a break during that last round of pizza because I can't eat as much pizza as Lewis can, obviously. Immediately, when I saw this walking up to the counter, I said, we have to get that grandma slice. I saw sauce all over this pizza, and I said, yes, please. Oh, yeah. This sauce is everything. It's rare that I pick up a slice of pizza and look for the sauce. Where can I get the optimum saucy bite? You remember how earlier I was saying you gotta know what you're doing when looking for pizza places in New York City? Well, here's another example. If you type best pizza into Google, guess what you're gonna find in New York? Hundreds upon hundreds of results. Of course, I know what I'm doing. That's why I take you all around New York City and Chicago showing you the best places to grab a whole pie or just maybe a slice. Right now at Best Pizza, we got two slices. We got the grandma slice with all that nice sauce and the pepperoni margarita. First, I'm gonna try this grandma because it got glowing reviews from Narissa. It feels already so good. We knew that we were gonna have an amazing pizza experience here at Best, so we kind of built the tour to lead up to this. Luigi's classic old school, Williamsburg, solid slice. This is definitely taking the pizza to another level. I'm gonna try the pepperoni margarita now. The size of these pepperonis reminds me of all the manhole covers you see all around New York City. This is a place that I would instantly come to when I'm craving pizza. I don't care if I'm all the way in the Bronx. I know they got glowing reviews from the but what's more important is a review from Louis Gusto. Hey, I just, that's just how it is. They did have a special grandma slice with broccolini, potatoes, and beans, but it didn't have tomato sauce, and we really love the sauce on this channel. Behind the scenes, on a day like today, we're not gonna eat all the slices. We've gotta save room in our tummies, but I am finishing these. That's the reason why I had to sit out that last round. I knew this one was gonna be worth it. It's one of our traditions that whenever we do a pizza tour in New York City, we have to get garlic knots. And we had planned to get the garlic knots here at Best Pizza because this actually used to be a bakery and the oven that they use is like 100 years old. Come with a little bit of sauce. They're so tiny and delicate. They're my friends. Dip it in here a little bit. Extremely enjoyable. They're so beautiful. This is the beauty of dining in at a pizza place. These garlic knots came fresh out of the oven. I am in garlic knot heaven. <laughs> wow, that was incredible from Best Pizza. Garlic knots on point, slices great. Atmosphere, amazing. We'll definitely be coming back here a lot. As Midwesterners in New York City, you know we had to represent and get some Detroit-style pizza. This is the famous square pan pizza from the Motor City. And you know the colors I got, I'm rocking. They are old school Detroit piston colors. By the way, I got this outfit at the GU pop-up. Gotta represent for the fashion in New York City. All right, I'm gonna try this slice. It's so fascinating how simple ingredients like those that go into a pizza can be combined in different ways and make something almost completely different. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Martin and Gina. I love having the green peppers and onions on this pizza and the sausage is quite tasty. Mm -hmm. It's got caramel, caramel, caramelization. How do I say caramelization? Yep. It's got caramelization on all sides of the pizza. This is now the second time that we're eating Detroit style pizza on the channel. I guess we're building up to when we actually go to Detroit and do a pizza tour right there in the Motor City. Definitely having a good time over here. We also got 
a cider. This is on draft. It's an unfiltered apple cider. It's called uh, Down East. And it's real good. So, so good. Nice and cold. Cider and pizza is almost as good as beer and pizza. These are even the old school looking plates. All the pizzas we've had today, almost all of them, have been on the thinner side. So this looks more like a pillow. A crunchy pillow. I had no idea this morning that we were going to get some Detroit style pizza. Louis really knows how to put an itinerary together. Pizza places also can put together a good salad. I see capers and capers are like one of the greatest things ever. Get a pick up a cucumber. I see some tomatoes too. Ooh. It's time for round two here at Aces Pizza. We got another Detroit style personal pan pizza, which is an underrated way to get your pizza. This is the Spicy Boy. It's got burrata, pepperoni, and a chili honey that they actually make in house. Uh, I've been eating pizza all day, but I think I can make a little bit of room in the old tum tum for this one. Beautiful, look at that. Whoa. I don't want to be cliche and say all those flavors go well together, but all those flavors go super well together. <laughs> We've tried hot honey on pizza a few times, and I gotta say, it's not usually my favorite. This one is not super sweet, and so I think it goes better with the pizza flavors. And by the way, the vibes in here are super dope. Midwestern, wood panel walls, old school beer sign and menu. I, I love everything about this place. It's super chill and the pizza is phenomenal. So this is a great date spot. This is a great spot to kick it with your friends. And of course, a great way for a Midwesterner to enjoy an evening here in the Big Apple. That was such a cool experience. And check out how cool these boxes are. We are now at Feeney's Pizza on Bedford. This is maybe the hottest pizza place in Brooklyn. We walked by the other day and I saw that it was jumping and then it was recommended to us by a couple of different people. Loving the whole vibe. Try the sausage and fennel first. That is an elevated sausage slice right there. You already got fennel in Italian sausage, so to add extra on top of that, really brings it together. I want to try the long hot shallot. Long green peppers on here and some shallotis. I saw those ovens were on 600 degrees. Wow, that's hot. A little spicy. For the first part of the day, we were getting some traditional slices. Then we went off course with a couple of Detroit pan pizzas. And now at Feeney, we got New York style, but for the next year, 2023, future pizza we're talking here. Amazing flavors. These are the type of flavors you get from like a sit down, fancy upscale restaurant. So to get it on a New York slice, mamma mia. Beautiful slice of pizza. We're still working on this pizza. Really, really enjoying that pizza experience. But you know what? They also are known for this really cool little dessert cocktail. It's a Negroni ice, lemon Italian ice, Negroni, and orange zest. It smells really, it smells really good. Look at this. Cheers to Brooklyn Pizza. This is good. It pairs perfectly with the pizza. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. Wanna try some? I would recommend any of the five pizza joints that we went to today, but if I had to pick a top three, in no particular order, I would say Fini, best pizza, and Ace is perfect pizza. That's my S tier as far as the pizza places that we went to today. And if you want to see us do another Brooklyn pizza tour, Lord knows I got a long list of places to go to. Support your boy. Give this video a like. Let's get it to over 1,000. I'm Louis Gusto, and I will see you next time for another slice. Peace. Peace.